For months, Amazon did everything they could to change the narrative about Rings of Power, to desperately try to stop the backlash. They had the mainstream media cover for them. They came out, they called the fans racist to distract from the reality that this show was complete garbage, that the most expensive series in history was a bastardization of Lord of the Rings, which barely anybody actually tuned in to watch, at least compared to the numbers that they needed it to be for it to make its money back. $700 million dollars on one season of the Rings of Power, eight episodes. And what did we hear in the immediate aftermath? Well, we heard nothing. These people who came out and told us lies about the viewership numbers, told us lies about how much it was doing, how well it was doing, we love it. They were silent for weeks after the Rings of Power finally got done, after the conclusion, which couldn't even draw in more than the premiere episode did, after it saw that decline in ratings and barely tried to make a recovery at the end. Well, what about now? What do we know now after seeing the finale, the numbers for the finale that were way less than they actually wanted? Well, now we know what the numbers were after the finale. You know, because for it to be a global phenomenon, what Jen Salky said it needed to be, it needs to hang on after the finale. It absolutely did not do that. There is no interest for Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Rings of Power drops out of the top 10, biggest flop in history, Hashtag rings of power. And in fact, it's true if you go to the top 10 on Nielsen. So this is the week after the rings of power finale, when all eight episodes are out there, when people have seen everything, when people can go back and watch it again and do all these things. Nothing. Nothing. It falls out of the top 10. Like that is sad when it comes to Amazon. This is not what they wanted. This can't be what they wanted because what they needed was something that hung around for a long time, something that actually impacted things, not just when it aired, but also afterwards. You don't invest a billion dollars for two seasons of something that isn't going to have staying power. And when you look at the success of House of the Dragon, which is similar, a fantasy, uh, a fantasy show that has the same numbers streaming as Rings of Power does, but is also airing on HBO. It's dominating them in the ratings. You can see it right here with the finale. Over a thousand million minutes watched. And also it aired on HBO, the live viewing audience on HBO. It's destroying Rings of Power at a fraction of the cost. $200 million of House of the Dragon, the Game of Thrones prequel. It does not get much worse than this. Now, when we go to original programming, you finally will see Rings of Power there, uh, barely ahead of Andor, which is pretty sad. Uh, but there it is, 570 minutes watch. It fell off the charts for top 10 streaming as soon as it was over. Now, what are we going to see? Is it is going to be that way for everything? Even these big things that come out on Netflix that are binge watched by people, those hang around for quite some time. Those hang around for a while. They have staying power. And that is something desperately that Amazon needs and does not have with Rings of Power. We said it from the beginning. This was not Tolkien. This was not Lord of the Rings. Fans are going to go come out and support this. Every single promotional thing they put out got ratioed to hell by fans. And now when we actually have these hard numbers that Amazon cannot dispute, they can't come out there and lie about it. They've stayed radio silent for good reason because this is terrible news for them. It's an embarrassment to them that Rings of Power was this big of a failure. If only you'd listen to us. It's almost like we said from the beginning, this is exactly what happened. And now Amazon's sitting there looking at a billion dollar disaster. Thanks for watching everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.